Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, I am going to show you guys how I have created this infinite tunnel loop animation in After Effects. So for that, this is the illustration I have created all by using the basic shapes in Illustrator. After that, I have separated the layers of each of the elements in such a way that the part I want to animate, I can animate it in After Effects. For example, I want to animate this eyes, so I have separated the retina and the eye white portion in a separate layer. And I want to animate this ship inside this square and the triangle. So for that, I have separated this square and this square as well. So that is how I have separated the layers. Now let's jump into After Effects. So I'm going to start with adding an effect called Motion Tile on this composition. So let's scale it down a bit to properly notice the changes. If we increase the width of the output, you can notice that it is going to increase the number of copies in the X axis. Here you can see. But you cannot increase it more than a certain limit. If you increase it very high, you are going to get errors something like this. So 500 is a sweet spot for this one. But we want more copies of this. So for that, we have to add another effect, which is CC Reptile. Let's scale it down even more to properly notice the changes. So if we increase or expand left, it is going to expand the values of left. If we expand it right, it is going to expand it right. But again, you cannot increase these values too much. So 5000 around on left and 5000 on right. It's wor it works perfectly with these settings. So after that, let's pre-comp it. So before that, let's fix the scale. So after that, let's pre-comp it. So while pre-comping it, you have to move all the attributes in the new composition. And let's... And then let's fix the width of the composition window so that we can see all the copies properly. So now I have a long composition over here. And if you want a longer composition than this, you can simply duplicate it one more time, place it at this edge, parent it with this one and if you move it, it is going to move together like this. Even if you convert the layers in 3D, it is going to move together in 3D as well. But for this one, let's delete this and let's work with only this layer. So. I'm going to move the anchor point over here and move it over here. Let's center the anchor point and convert the layer in 3D. Okay, now it's time to rename the layers. All right, now let's start with the left one. Now I'm going to give a rotation on this left wall. So turn off the other layers. And I'm going to give a rotation of minus 90. And then we're going to move it in X axis like this. So let's subtract around 600 in X axis for this one. Similarly, for the right wall, let's turn off the 3D and let's convert it in 2D. For this one, I'm going to move it in this edge. So this time, I'm going to rotate this layer in 90 degree. And open the position. And we're going to add 
500 over here or maybe 600 and then it's time for the top layer so for this one again we have to adjust the position first so let's rotate it by 90 degree in 2d only and let's move the anchor point at the center of this composition then convert it in 3d and we are going to rotate it in x-axis and let's give it minus 90 well it is going to be 90 and then after that we are going to move it upwards in the position in y-axis so we are going to just subtract 600 in y-axis somewhat like this to keep the value same and then it's for the bottom one and the process is pretty similar Now after that we can slightly adjust the position of the top and the bottom layers a bit so to basically decrease this empty space maybe we can decrease the space by adjusting the sidewise positions as well very little and try to keep the distance pretty much same after that let's add a camera of 35 mm and then we are going to move the camera so open position and whatever time you want let's move it in around 15 seconds we are going to zoom in like this so we are going to speed it up a bit Okay, so like this you can animate the infinite tunnel. Of course, you can play with the speed. You can increase the speed or decrease it. And to get more copies of it, you simply have to duplicate and get the more copies and parent it with its layers. And after that, you can add more detailing to the internal animation. For example, for this one, I have animated the eyes with the alpha track mat and simply added few rotation in the shape layers. So you can do that as well. So that is how you can animate uh, infinite loop animation in After Effects. So that is it for this lesson. If you liked it, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the lesson, make sure to comment down. I would be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.